Fa'uzu billahi min ash-shaitani rajeem, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Atiya Allah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Hamri minkum. And always a reminder for myself, an abdika raji sadaifu, miskinu, zan, and mujahan. <clears throat> but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence, that everything is by Allah's rahmah and mercy and that we took a path in which to be nothing. Alhamdulillah this way of muraqabah and making the Divine connection and requires a sincerity in which to take a hisab and take an accounting of ourselves that we we been deceived by shaitan all our life thinking that we are something and the accounting and hisab and self-reflection, reflecting on oneself and finding people, place and things that we dislike and that is a, the book of our notes, of our understanding of the self when we're taking our notes. It's that this accounting of myself is the people, places and things that I don't like, that I have difficulties with and be honest with ourselves of why we don't like them. And tariqah is only about finding my sickness, it's not to find the sickness of other people and that's why everything comes back to myself. And talking with the, the kids and young people, they say, no, no, there's nothing wrong with me, it's wrong with all these people are, are really garbage people. So that's, that's their problem. But our problem is ourselves because Allah doesn't change a condition of people until I change with what's in myself. We want to focus on the people are bad, this community is bad, this group of this is bad but that's, that's not my concern, that's Allah's concern. My concern is me, that what are the people, places and things that are affecting me? Then I write that, why is it that I don't like them? They're this, they're that and you truthfully begin to write, why is it? Because they have this, because they have that, because their focus is on this, their, their, their character is, is, is not noble, they're all about money, they're all about dunya, they're all about whatever people have of issues with people, places and things. And then the key to that and the key to that success is what is my role? in all of that because I have to find my sickness. I'm not here to state a political condition of a community and a society, that's not the job that Allah gave to people. But to find what is my difficulty and where is the trap that I'm falling into. So then they identify a, a person or a friend and they can't stand that friend and because maybe that friend is fancy car has lots of money, always showing all that money. Okay, but what is your role in not liking this person? And then when the person is truthful to themselves, their role is what? It's jealousy. Because what do you have to do with that person having money or whatever they're doing in life? That's their grave. Allah will punish whom He wants to punish. But for our survival, my survival is about me. So when we deal with our children and we deal with our loved ones and we deal with ourselves, this is tariqah's uh, medicine that we take home for myself. When Sayyidina Musa was going to Divine the Presence, He described to his tribe, 
I'm going to go there for warmth and for khabar, for knowledge that I can bring back. So the tariqah is the same, is that what we gain from these teachings we implement for ourselves, for our families and we teach our children that in life make a book of the people, places and things that you don't like. The younger you can start that as soon as the child has aql and they're in puberty, below that they may not make sense to them as soon as they enter into puberty. This system of an accounting is something we do on a daily basis. The younger we start the cleaner we remain. Could you imagine count, accounting for the first time after 40 years what type of damages and characteristics you have to go through, right? So the people, places and things, it's very important for, for many people because their eyes are always looking at something else, always looking for something wrong. They can come into a store and find all of the, the, the products that are expired. Right? And then you go, hey they, all these products are expired, expired but why you didn't think, no shame on you that you didn't buy it before it expired, right? But you're always looking to the problem as something else, someone else's problem. I'll go through here find everything is expired, especially as a zawiya, why is it expired? Nothing should have expired, you should have got it before it expired. So this self-accounting, its key is my role in the accounting that, I don't like this guy, he shows off all his things, this like this, this like this, but what is my role? I want to know why my nafs is finding conflict in this issue and then I have to identify with my sincerity and truthfulness and then you meditate. That's why everything is based on meditation, you make your connection, you ask for the madad and support so that you're not alone with your nafs and shaitan but that your shaykh's ruhaniyat is right there with you and that you're meditating and asking that these are all the things I'm disliking for today, for last week, for what comes to my understanding and to my heart. Why I don't like them, it's like this, it's like this, this one shows off, this one's had this, maybe this one has this. And then the role I play is in the character fault and the defect. I don't like them because I'm jealous. I don't like that person, they have so much authority. I like to have authority so now I'm jealous of them. A lot of people don't like people at work that are sort of in, they have a, a power, they have a connection with the boss, why you don't like them? Well because you want that power, you want that connection so you have jealousy. You have enmity that you envy the person that you wish you had that authority. So it's not so much that person is bad because that has nothing to do with us, that person go wherever Allah is taking them. My only concern is for myself and, and the community that following the teachings. So I have to find the reason of myself being agitated by that place, that person, that individual, that situation. When I get good at that and I'm sincere with that and I did my meditation to do my hisab and I'm continuously making this hisab because as soon as I can identify, oh I have a jealousy to this person and I have an envy and enmity towards this person, means I envy who they are, their authority that they have, the nearness that they have to the boss and I'm just jealous of that. Once I can identify that. Then the zikrs, the salawats and the meditations can bear their fruit that, Ya Rabbi take away this jealousy in my heart. Take away this characteristic that this jealousy is not healthy because what Allah gave to me I have to be thankful because Allah is the one whom is going to be disturbed. That why are you jealous when I give you so much? Why don't you thank me and I give you more instead of bringing on satanic characteristics, have a shukr, alhamdulillah wa shukran lillah and identifying that, that, that person and that reality. 
Ya Rabbi that that individual I'm feeling is, I have a jealousy and please take it from my heart Ya Rabbi. Alhamdulillah wa shukran illah. That whatever you gave to that person, that's between you and them Ya Rabbi but what you grant of me and grant me from what you have been given, alhamdulillah wa shukran illah. And if Allah want to grant the servant more then by saying, alhamdulillah wa shukran illah, Allah describe, thank me and I give you more. So it means that this builds our relationship and our, our reliance upon Allah upon the love of Prophet that when we're meditating this area of Surah Kareem, I'm identifying these characteristics. I'm coming to you thinking I'm good and I don't want my inner hypocrisy. The reason for muhasaba and accounting in the meditation are hand in hand that when the person is sincere in meditating, connecting, feeling the connection, there's now a truthful mirror. And in that time I'm going to write, why is I don't like this person, why this person just sort of bothers me, why is this place is disturbing to me, why I don't like to go to this, I don't like to do that. And then we find what is the, the inner core, the inner reality and what's the role for myself. Because we live in a society now where nothing is the self, I'm great and everybody else is damned, everybody else is rotten. But Allah won't change the condition of those he, unless I change my condition. So if you don't want to be stuck around all these rotten types of things then there must be a lesson that Allah wants us to learn. So once I begin to change myself, lo and behold the miracle Allah changes the condition. So when we're not seeing the condition changing, oh there's I just um, identifying all these problems, all this, all this but what's the role you play in all of these? When you find that role and you begin to fight that sickness with your salawats, with your meditation, with your prayers, now you know what to pray for. Is Ya Rabbi take away hasa, take away enmity, take away these, these bad characteristics, take away pride. That why is pride and anger coming into these things when I can identify what these circumstances are, these conditions and I identify and pray for these conditions in me to be gone then Allah begins to give then you've changed the condition within yourself, you're remedying the condition within yourself. You're beginning to confront your sickness within the self and the miracle begins to change in which Allah begins to change the condition of that person. That the environment for them, the un- their zikr, their salawats and their consciousness, they know now what they're fighting when they enter into that room of themselves. They're not fighting the other person, they're not being uh, a slave to that condition. As a, as a person who is meditating and contemplating on that reality then they should be going just the understanding, okay I have jealousy issues, I have to make my salawats and face this characteristic that Allah take this away and that I'd be thankful and, and loving and submitting to Allah who's giving to me everything. He's given to me health, He's given to me wealth, He's given everything in proportion to what I need and that's when we said before that some people are so busy asking, they're really not praising for what they have. And uh, it's a life now of just everybody so busy trying to ask Allah and their whole mentality is, is on asking Allah they lost focus on what they have from Allah and that's why the muhasaba is immensely important. People complaining, complaining, complaining about the rizq, the rizq, the rizq, rizq and then they make three times the rizq of normal people. So human nature is something that never is satisfied, never is satisfied because that's the role of shaitan. That uh, when you have nothing you say, oh if I just had a little bit I would be happy, then you have a little bit. Then you're still unhappy because shaitan is whispering into you that you have to have more and everything in life is always, always, always going and it's never enough. And that's where then the danger of this dunya begins to trap people and that's why the muraqabah, the meditation, making a connection so that the, the, the mirror of truth 
is present with me when I'm contemplating. If the mirror of truth is not present with me, who will be present with me? Shaitan and my nafs that, you're great, you're good, what are you worried about? It's the, these people, it's all those people, it's all th their fault, not my fault. And that's where the sickness because Allah is not caring about their fault, He's not brought us onto this earth to judge others but only judge ourselves. When we judge ourselves, then we can find our sicknesses, then we can see how busy we have to be fixing all our sicknesses. I don't have time to, to fix other people, I have to fix myself. And then people will be busy fixing themselves, identifying and writing, these are major characteristics of mine. You know if you have hasad, you have enmity, most likely you have uh, pride and you have anger. Because uh, anger is like a little pilot light that all these other characteristics when they come they're like a gas. They hit the pilot light and the person is igniting, why people want to get angry? But because they have pride. So something in the other characteristics ignited their pride that hit like a gas upon this flame called anger, qadam, that immediately blows them up and here we go, the fire is raging and then anger takes the servant outside of faith and they lost their faith as a result. They have to make their tawbah, they have to make wudu, they have to make istighfar. As soon as you become angry, you're outside of faith. There's no longer involvement with iman, with Allah, with Prophet So then these characteristics they learn they have to wash, they have to go make their wudu, they have to pray salatul wudu and regain their Islam. They have now outside of Islam, nothing can be resolved outside of Islam. So with their wudu they make salatul wudu, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah and that they're ask Allah to regain and come back into the station of faith. And as a result with that then they're continuously combating these bad characteristics that are igniting humanity left and right and becomes more and more difficult. If we can start at a younger age by teaching ourselves and teaching our loved ones to take a daily accounting of ourselves and find where we are involved. We're not here to account for humanity, we're here to account for myself and my grave inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifun. As salaamu ala mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. <laughs>